Welcome to tkcast.hostsl.com. Uh, this lab is continuing on from the previous lab, which is set up uh, CME for brand two. Um, okay, and uh, we're gonna continue that. And for this lab, we're gonna set up the H323 gateway for it, and uh, we make sure that brand two can take in incoming call from the PSTN. Um, okay. First thing you need to do is set up your network clock in. This is to uh, sync the time with the network. If you don't know uh, anything, just go ahead and do a question mark. It'll, you know, give you the option. If you don't know the, this information right here, uh, you can ask your PSTN, they'll provide that information for you. And for my um, this uh, network, you know, it's already been, I already know what the information is. Okay, that's pretty much setting it up. Uh, make sure it's working. You have to do this command right here. Do show ISDN status right here. If, if you do that command and you don't see this right here, mul multiple flame established, that means you know something going on with it. So take a sec uh, look at it again. So now uh, I can call in from the PSTN but you know it, the phone the branch 2 phone 1 won't be able to uh, take the call um, but let me go ahead and show you that I'm going to turn on the debug for it and you need this debug right here if you deal with pot dog here do debug ISTN Q931 and make sure you turn the monitor on so you can see the debugs okay let me go ahead and clear this line show you debug when I do a call in from the PSTN today it's going in but this phone won't ring because I, I haven't set up an incoming uh, dial here for it. Let me go ahead. See, so calling from that number, and go try to reach this number. But our incoming call, we're gonna strip these out, and you know, and have is only four numbers, so it know which phone you know to send the call to. Okay, so let's go ahead and set incoming dial here. Uh, before that, let's go ahead and do the extension so we can strip the digit down to four. If you don't know your translation real good, uh, practice. You know, everyone have their own way of writing translation rule so you know whatever works for you so anything coming with 3432 it's gonna 1-4 it's gonna strip down to the last four digits like 3001 oh strip down and bring it over bring it over I'll test that in a little bit make sure how we Lose one here. Ok, 
just put in another rule just in case. Okay, and I can go ahead and test that. Rule one, we want to test this rule one right here we create and say the number calling in three four three two three four three two one four three zero zero one it will strip down to four digits right here. This is the number sent to the phone whatever. And we can do that with taking out the three four. Right there, something. Okay. So after you set up your translation rules you need to put in a profile for it so voice translation profile you give it the name anything you want I'm gonna call it uh, four digit Dennis okay translation we're gonna use car because the PSN calling in and match you have to put according to what translation rule you create so we create one so one here for it okay after that I'm gonna you can put this in the incoming dial pair or you can put in voice port I like to put in voice port so I'm gonna do that Let's go my voice port, copy it, paste down, enter, translation, in common, make sure it's in common, and the name of the profile, make sure you copy and paste down. Don't try to type it sometimes, you know, you miss a letter or a digit, you know, not gonna work. Okay, so now if we were to call in the phone should ring oh wrong ring because I haven't make income and dial here this number right here can be any number but I'm going to use one we come in call number and it's gonna the dot gonna be anything you know or hit it or match that dot gonna take it you can do dot t if you like, but dot is fine. Turn inward dialing. Okay, that pretty much set it. Okay, let's go ahead and test it. Okay, I'm gonna call in again. Spang three two one four three zero zero one. There we go. The phone ring. See. And you can see right here, this is the PSN call, call number, and it's called to this number, but we strip this out and only leave 301 left, so it's no where to find the phone that have that extension. Okay. And one thing I don't have is um, I didn't have the the name of the phone show, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. inside here Oops. the interface display ID that will place the name of the phone let me go ahead and double check that real quick read out second so I can save some time on the recording okay never mind about that I uh, would think about outgoing call that over this place you know the name of BR1 phone 1 but this is the incoming call from the PSDN but anyway um, 
uh, we complete our task you know we set up the gateway and uh, BR2 phone was able to make incoming take incoming call from the PSDN so that's pretty much it um, thank you for watching and uh, please follow up with the next video thank you